Hey everyone, welcome back to the Everyday Wholeness Show with the beautiful Janet Uribe and myself, Karen Stultz. And we're here to help inspire and explain and, and provide a little more guidance perhaps, just a little bit to help you enjoy the wholeness that is you. So Janet, how are you today? Oh girl, I'm good. I'm good. I've been functioning on this whole mentality and question of, are you shooting on yourself? Oh, I love that. Are you shooting on yourself? And, and, you know, that is, that is a great topic anytime, but here we are the first of 2023. And I tell you, that is ideal. This is something that we really could do better with, right? It Ooh. isn't that we shouldn't because, you know, we do. We do. The question is, how whole are we being for ourselves? How do we feel so good when we are shooting on ourselves? Yeah, I should on myself more than I would like to admit. And it's been such a theme lately because I hear it popping up with um, with one of my parents and I hear it popping up with a neighbor and I work with a lot of parents. Um, I hear it there sometimes and I hear it with my own partner. I hear it with my children. I hear she should, he should, they should, I should. Guys, it's exhausting. <laughs> it, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, Janet, I love that you're saying that because it is, and it just brings us down, brings down our energy. And the whole point really of being able to, no matter what, we are whole, that's all there is to it. And we have the universal laws of polarity where it's sometimes we're down, sometimes we're up, but it's all whole, right? Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes we're just neutral, right in the middle. And that can feel very satisfying too. Absolutely. Absolutely. The middle can be satisfying. And the middle can feel like a homeostasis or stable too. But I think that one of the things that really shows up for us as, hum as humans, as humanity, is that we will get stuck in anger, anxiety, frustration, remorse, um, resentment i mean lots of r words there and someone regret you know, what kind of energy does r carry so <laughs> this numerology we'll have, numerology we'll have to oh. look that up we'll yeah. have to look up what that r means yeah, yeah. send it to me <laughs> <laughs> send it to us but relax idea, yeah <laughs> lots of polarities with the r's but the idea being this if you ever find yourself in anger or resentment, frustration, sadness, perhaps with self or even a past loved one or someone currently in your life. The only reason typically that you are there is because you have a polarized idea of how they should have behaved or what should have happened between both of you or how things should have been how you should have responded or spoken up. And shooting is a dangerous walk, friends, because you will get stuck there for fucking ever. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. If we could let go of the shooting, have tos, need tos, and shift them all to want tos. So the should is actually showing our judgment side. And heaven knows judgment is not a bad thing. Yeah. Judgment is, is where we get our ability to choose what we want yeah. is recognizing, but, uh, recognizing that we can want to do something. And if it's something that we really don't want or a situation we don't care for, or he should, she should, they should, I yeah. should. Yeah. That is the clue, guys. That's the clue. When you hear, they shouldn't have been like that. They yeah. should have reacted this way. And you, you've, you've heard me in the past on here. I've gone through it myself. It's, dang it, I'm so angry. 
and frustrated and irritated with someone because they didn't do what I expected them to do. Yeah. And I, and I almost want to challenge all of us. And I say all of us on purpose, guys, because I'm human. You watch me be hum- human all the time in here. To be quite honest, I'm still in my pajamas. Okay, guys? Human. <laughs> and it's like 11 o'clock. Hey, hey, this this is this is holiday <laughs> time. We're not back to work yet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Human. I'm not. I mean, my hair's clean. I'm not showered. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have a bra. On, okay. <laughs> All right, let's get real here, Janet. He's like, come on, Janet. Enough of the details before you go any further. But I mean, I want to, I want to push you guys a little further today. And if those of you who know me in real life, and those of you who are close to me enough to know, I'm a button pusher. I want, I like to see what happens. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I know that about Janet. Yep. I like to see what happens, and so the idea being this. And this is mama coming out to talk. If you are shooting on self, you're not loving yourself. Now let's go further because we don't always shoot on ourselves. It's more common for us to should on the external, on your politicians, on your parents, on your children, on your siblings, on your neighbors, on your friends, on the complete strangers that walk the earth to you. The entire energy of should really has a lot of not good enough energy built into it. And as I have said many times in the past, my friends, if you are seeing or recognizing something in another, you are not able to see or recognize that in another if it is not within you. That's it. That's it. It, We are mirrors, aren't we? We're mirrors of people. Yeah. So, yeah. So if you are seeing something or someone as shooting, if you're shooting on them, if you're, they didn't do this to the standard, they didn't do this. They didn't do that. Not good enough. I promise you, my friends, you are not able to have that type of mentality towards another on a regular repeat basis. If that is not within you not being good enough. We're talking about wholeness. We're talking about holistically loving you. Mm. Because when you can accept your humanness and you can accept the fact that you don't should, could, have to, need to in all things, then you're not going to actually need to project that on another. Now, imagine waking up to a world that functions like that. It's pretty darn nice if you can wake up to a world that it is no longer shooting on themselves. Yeah. But I'll tell I'll be real honest with you, it starts with you. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can worry about the external all the time. It'll come right back to the same place that originated. Because none of that can even exist without the thought itself. And I I want to encourage people to recognize what Janet is saying here because it is a choice to look at yourself and sometimes it is really hard to look at yourself and recognize that if it's something you don't like it is inside of you so for my question to you is what And how do I really want to feel? How do I want to feel? Do I want to feel this frustration, anger, resentment, um, remorse, all of these R's going on? Or do I want to feel good in my own skin? Do I want to feel worthy? And then what can I do in the next 10 minutes? to shift this feeling to something that feels better. But it is a choice to do that. And it's not always easy to make those choices or to remember that we do have power. It is powerful. When you recognize your role in the big picture, what you may have instigated. And I mentioned this probably in one of the other 
podcasts here on wholeness, how I was furious with someone. I was absolutely furious. It was all their fault. I was not in the wrong whatsoever. So there. But once I allowed that to sink in and say, how do I really want to feel? This is not the way I want to feel. And how did I contribute to this situation? Well, guess what? I contributed to that situation by three days of eating nothing but candy and cookies, breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and dinner. Do you think I had a sugar irritation, high, low, in between? That may, I'm not saying it did, but may have contributed to the situation that made me so angry. And with that and making a choice not to have candy and cookies for the next three days, uh, everything shifted. Everything shifted, guys. Things became calm. I was able to let go of the blame and shame and shitting. And it was so wonderful. That was not pushing it down. It was acknowledging it, seeing it for what it was, accepting it for what it was and what it was teaching. And I think that is so helpful in the big scheme of things. Does that mean that you will never should on yourself, that you will always use these tools, that you will always have it, at, you'll always have them. Howsomever, it isn't always that easy. I grant you that. Sometimes yeah. it's downright hard. And you know me, guys, I like easy. <laughs> but sometimes it is hard. Yeah. And for those of you who are here to be the coaches, the healers, the teachers, the leaders, you know, we know what it's like to shit on ourselves and shit on another. The second you do it, know that that even has its purpose. Mm -hmm. Know that in exactly what Karen just said, use it. What projected should do you have on society or humanity or whatever it may be at this given time and moment that's really more projecting a projection of something that's happening within you? What does it look like? Are you shooting on your politicians for how they're not showing up for your country? How are you not showing up for you? Mm -hmm. Are you shooting, in my case, on the education system for how they're not assisting our youth? How am I projecting that for me, knowing I came here to assist? Mm. Coming here to play a bigger role but projecting it on someone else to clean it. Guys, there's so much gold and information in the shooting. The shooting is nor right nor wrong. It's just how much shooting are you going to put into it or onto someone or onto self before you realize, oh, wait, there's information for me, for me there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And the big thing that I've discovered with my clients and myself, and it, it was hard to handle. I got to say, it was really very challenging for me to accept. I like control. I like to control. I like to control myself. And recognizing that we only have control over ourselves. So if we are playing the blame game and the shooting and the, well, the blame game on others, it's all your fault. Quite often, it's because we no longer feel we have any power. We are feeling less than. And so the, the question then is, 
What can I do right now, right in this moment? What can I do right now in this moment to make a difference? Yeah. And that the answer is not nothing. There's always something we can do because when we feel better, the world around us feels better. When we feel good about ourselves, people look at us in a different way. They respond in a different way. And you are making the impact that you are here to make. Yeah. I love that because truthfully, what can you do now, right? And pragmatically, in terms of giving you a tool, perhaps something that you are doing now is making the conscious choice to eat a different meal. Perhaps the action that you're doing right now is to make the conscious choice of, I accept this about myself. I'm controlling too. <laughs> I've been learning better than to control outside of myself. But yes, there are moments when I'm, I am controlling guys. When we tend, there's a tendency for us to polarize things, which is where the should comes from to begin with. So for polarizing, controlling versus, you know, easygoing, you know, and I've said this maybe to our viewers before, would you rather someone who's a little bit more controlling to be driving your cruise ship with so many other thousands of lives on there? Or would you rather someone who's more easygoing? There is a time and place where all of your holistic traits, your whole being, every one of those traits has a time to shine or step back. And it's there's just a lot of wisdom in knowing when. But use the should to start determining that wisdom and start really defining and identifying when it is best to show up with some of these traits that we have. The thing is we have a tendency to demonize or polarize some traits more so than others. So let's do each other a favor. <laughs> And let's go easier on ourselves with the shooting and perhaps easier on humanity with the shooting, because really it's just about how you show up first, first and foremost, how do you show up? How do you act and choose to decide something for yourself? How do you decide that you might love yourself wholly today? So... Bottom line, I guess, is stop shooting on yourself, start loving yourself, and be whole in all that you do, because you are whole in all you do. Make it feel good. It's okay. It's okay. And until next time, Happy New Year, everybody. And it is going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome 2023. Janet and I have lots of uh, surprises for you that we'll be letting you know about in the near future. So until next time, be whole. Bye, friends. <laughs>